Alrighty. We shall give justice for Did I get into this mess? That's fine. Oh, you can run forever, Mr. Phoenix. Right. Or uh, what, what have I done wrong? I cannot allow you to go on like this. I'll show you these, but I'm just as simple to upset. No, you are all now switch silence. You are no longer worthy of your title. You shall take the gobble and tentacles. No! September 8th, 908 AM, um, District Court, Defendant W. Oh, I think that's a nightmare. What a nightmare. I bet it was. Uh, uh, it was this thing you know, that caused. I should have done it right before I tried anything. Huh? Looks like they hang up. Oh, good. Uh, they do. Uh, they talk about it. Hey, doing this to you, but it's nothing personal, Mister Attorney. I just want my a phone back. A few minutes later, just check court, defendant will be number one. Yeah, ouch, it hit me. Why does it feel foggy at this? Good morning! Uh, good morning? What, John? You don't look good. Uh, people are at their best dressed in the morning with their. Where's that fine? Sure, but can you turn the chinus down? I just feel like I just got hit by a whole bunch of things. Especially, I thought I'd be kidding. It's like I had a, uh, all the beer and all the, uh, and, uh, at least the 50 state area. Imagine that! Uh, am I in trouble or something? Ah, uh, trouble? Wait, never mind. Yeah, I probably saw it, right? I thought I, I had something on. What uh, are you talking about? I'm the one in trouble! What? I'm placing my life in your hands today, Mr. Phoenix. Life in my hand? You promised me you would, uh, yeah, you would prove me that I'm not uh, uh, guilty. Uh, not guilty? Uh, I'll try. <laughs> Just when I thought my own hope was lost, then when all of the lawyers looked after me off, Leave it to me, you said. You were uh, the one and only Phoenix I came to save me. And just like that, I was moved to tears, sir. I'll never uh, get what you're doing for me, ever. What is this girl babbling about? Actually, I, I really love to watch court proceedings, and I always root for you to win. When I'm off duty, I like to come here and... What's wrong? You've been... You're making me kind of nervous, sir. Oh, sorry. I got hit really hard. Yeah, I, uh, I have a case of amnesia. I feel like I have a case of amnesia. So this might turn out, but, uh, who are you? Ah! Mr. Roy, how can you say that? I can do. I found you hard to go into Charlie Upton. No, I mean, I didn't mean like that. I uh, got hit in the head by something. Is this uh, how it is? It's just glad, so I can't believe this. No, it just. Uh, I think you have the wrong person on. Yes, I... I'm... Who am I? Oh, am I trying to get blank? Must have been the booze. The judgment is... Will the defendant and the def uh, uh, lawyer please come to the... The judge's about to start. I'm counting on you, okay? I guess I, I must have amnesia. Let's see, uh, the end of things. Uh, I'm probably having, uh, and she's my client. Okay. 
can't believe I made such a news <laughs> But if I gave him my word, I gotta. Do. Tell me this is just a bad dream. Do you feel it? I won't be waking up from this one. No. Maybe I won't have to have any bad experiences. What is now in session for the trial of Miss Maggie Bird? The prosecution is shut your what is it, Mr. Wright? Uh, um, uh, are you talking to, uh, are you talking to me? Did, uh, uh, do you see any other defense attorneys here? Uh, I guess not. <coughs> now then, are you ready? I guess I don't have a choice. <laughs> Are you ready, mister? Yes, your honor. The court will now hear the defense's excuses. Child, fair but swift. I believe I told you this before. I hope you're not telling me you've forgotten. Actually, I have. Can we have a refresher? Mr. Payne, your opening statement, please. Yes, your, your honor. As I'm sure you're aware, the defendant is accused of killing her lover. What's worse, her lover was a fellow police officer. Uh, policeman, you did what to a policeman? It wasn't, it wasn't me. I promise. And besides, Justin and I, we weren't lovers like that. In any case, the prosecution will prove that the guilty party is none other than the defendant. Well, Mr. Payne, please call your first witness. <laughs> it's been a while, Mr. Wright. Let's see what you've got. Uh, you've learned since last time. I won't show you my, oh, any minute. <laughs> Let's see. This time, Lucky. Okay. And who are you again? I had lot of stuff on. The prosecution uh, calls Detective uh, Gumshoe to the stand. Here we go. Don't let me down the street. No, it hurt. I'm so oh, dead. It's the cops! Witness, please state your name and occupation. My name is Dick Gumshoe, sir. It's the cops! And I'm a uh, detective in charge of, uh, uh, da of homicides down at, at the precinct, sir. You don't look very well, detective. Are you sick or something? Well, sir, the defendant walks under me, so you know. Yes, sir, and while I was tra a trainee, he was always watching out for me, sir. He's such a wonderful guy, sir. I'll never forget what he's done for me. Okay, calm down, I believe you. I have the mask, uh, 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 do you have any aspirin? Maybe that was uh, my headache. Please, uh, please describe for us the uh, uh, details of the murder. And no taking aspirin! Please let me have some aspirin. Well, he he does the crossing, but when he says it, yeah, let him have that aspirin. I don't mind. He needs it. I'll give it. 
Uh, it happened at the park near headquarters. Expose Park. It's a cat. The victim um, was one of uh, the local cops, Dustin Prince. Funny name for him. <laughs> we always <laughs> we always called him the Point Man. As well, he was pushed down the, from the benches on the upper path, sir. The landing beat up his body and uh, 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 bad and snapped his neck. The details are listed in the report that was distributed yesterday. Ah, uh, yes, the aut uh, this autopsy report. Correct. Why do I not remember getting a copy? See, everything is in order here. Even, uh, even the estimated time of death is unusually well documented. The victim's death uh, watch stopped uh, from impact, uh, the impact of the landing, sir. The results of the autopsy confirmed the time of death. If I may, your honor, the prosecution would like to submit this photograph. Very well, the court accepts the it into your evidence. Now then, I recall yesterday's preliminary hearing, a very important evidence was brought to our, to our attention. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, I guess. <laughs> Mr. Wright, is your head on right? There was a, piece, a very crucial piece of evidence found under the victim's door. Um, what? Have you lost your mind? Well, actually, um, it's just nerves giving me a sec. What? How can you talk in su uh, like such an amateur? I thought you were a... All right, sir, right, so I'll help you through this. It sounds like this, me. It's in people. Save your chit chat for later. So, yeah. <laughs> Just. Broken pair of glasses. That's right. The victim grabbed the, his killer's glasses as he was being shoved, sir, and held on to them as he fell. Hey, why are you giving me the evil eye? Those glasses you're wearing. But those glasses I found at the crime scene are my, not mine, I swear to You sure about that? Look, it was a coincidence on the same day I accidentally stabbed down my... A coincidence, he says, uh, I think that, that was taking place as well. <laughs> yeah. I have further evidence to present. Oh, you have more? I do this is evidence is very decisive. Well, uh, then show it to me or you show me tentacles. Let's hear your, this witness is evidence. If there were a detective, you won't hit him. You're a good man. <laughs> There's something more, even more incriminating under the glasses than the victim's body, sir. During his date, the victim was pushed from the bench. Bench, you write the culprit's name on the ground where he landed. You uh, Victims, hey man, her name is spelt wrong. His day, her name is spelt wrong. Wait a second, let me look at this. Her name is spelt wrong. That means somebody was framing her. Spell her name then? 
You too, ooh, detective. I'll start M-A-G-G-E-Y. But, 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 I told you, those glasses aren't mine. How do you speak it? It's a conspiracy, I'm not guilty, sir. Oh yeah, I forget your name's spelled differently. Cross examine. <laughs> well, even if they're wrong, they don't mean to lie. Sometimes they remember something. By the way, it's bad for us, sir. Mr. Roy, you don't leave. This is so right. <laughs> what is it? Well, I just want to let me hold this one for a few more seconds. Dramatic effect. <laughs> Detective comes you. You're tell talking to me, pal. Please state the defendant's name for me. What are you trying to prove with this futile uh, accident? I, you'll see, uh, this is a, a very crucial line of questioning. Actually, Mr. Payne, you can answer the defendant's name if you please. Where is this ridiculous question coming? The defendant's name is, uh, is uh, Maggie Bird? Mm, I think somebody needs to check the court record. What? It's the idea that it's Maggie Bird! Looks like the bird caught uh, the cat napping. What's going on here? I have no idea either. Wait, my bad. I even said her, spelled her name right. Ah! I owe you a drink, Phoenix. Right now, I'm in a headache still. As you can see, the victim didn't indeed write the name, leave a name Maggie. However, the defendant's name is actually spelled Maggie. This is a blatant contradiction of fact. Ooh, how about that? I didn't even notice. But, 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 maybe the victim didn't know how to spell her name. Cause May I remind you it, who, uh, that it was you who said the defendant is accused of killing her lover? If they were truly lovers, it would be impossible for him to not have known her name. No! Very true, Mr. O Mr. Payne, you are getting close to meeting tentacles unless we can find... Out the reason? Yes, sir. I do. Are you absolutely certain the defendant is? Uh, are you absolutely certain the defendant is uh, the, uh, the victim? Justin Prince were in fact lovers. Yes, I'm quite certain, Your Honor. They were a well-known couple in the police force. Detective Gumshoe. Please tell us to find for the court the relationship between the victim and the defendant. Yes, sir. I don't wanna. <laughs> Officer Pitts and Officer Bird had been going out for half a year. Sounded like they were talking about marriage. 
the day of the incident just happened to be the victim's birthday, sir. Maggie, I mean, Officer Bird had gotten a pre uh, Officer Bird a present. Something she bought over two months ago. I know who she uh, knows because she came to me and asked uh, uh, what she should get him. You sound close. Nevertheless, tragic is struck. Mm -hmm. mm, yes, I see. You may uh, cross examine the witness, Mr. Roy. Marriage? But wasn't uh, the victim eight years old? What? <laughs> you gotta. <laughs> you're saying a guy's gotta marry someone the same age as himself, pal? No, that's not what I mean. I don't know. Detective Gumshoe and Dusty and Wong are here apart, you know. I think I, uh, this fella has, has a ways to go before marriage. Mind your own business, pal! Two months ago? Yep! She was a very considerate woman, pal. So you, uh, what you uh, would say, it was a Miss Birthday person. She got him a glove! A single glove? Why would she get him only one? Um, I, I'm actually your honor. The glove in question was a baseball glove. Oh, I see. A baseball glove. Officer Prince was a big baseball fan. <laughs> a baseball glove? Hmm. Just further. Just now, I believe you said that uh, the present was something she had bought over two months ago. Yeah. Are you saying that she bought the glove at a store that far in advance? Nah, nothing like that, pal. Then what is it like? She ordered it. It was custom made. Custom made? The glove was custom made? Yep, that's what I said, pal! It's the cops! Hmm, so the glove was custom made? <laughs> yeah, Arthur, I really don't see that how the glove is related to this case. Yes, it would seem that there is little relevance. What would you think, Mr. Wright? Do you think the glove is really relevant to this case? Of course it is. I wouldn't be pressing about it if it wasn't. This glove is key to the whole case, and it's gonna blow y'all's mind. Now this is the Mr. Right I know. I'm so happy you're back, sir. I was wondering how long it did take. This is great. Mm -mm, this is great. It feels like I've done this before. <laughs> As if I used to do this for uh, just squeezing it, uh, squeezing me. the most tight with people. What a rush! <laughs> Very well. You are convinced? Let's hear more about the, the map. Actually, I brought the club with me today. And? Why didn't you say anything so sooner? Hurry up and show the glove to the court. Well, I didn't think it had anything to do with this case. Anyway, here it is, sir. Hmm, it's rather yellow, isn't it? 
Officer Prince really liked the color yellow, sir. And that's why you had it special ordered it. Yep, that's right. That and only one reason. That's the reason. I think the court has had heard enough. It is clear the victim and the defendant were involved with each other. Yes, that's correct. Your honor? No, if that's true, if it brings up an important question. If it was a name Maggie really written by the victim. I see your point, Your Honor. Detective Gunsh, you please tell the court a little more about the name on the ground. Yes, sir. We first looked into the handwriting. Unfortunately, we couldn't confirm that this was the victim's handwriting. Next, we checked the victim's po pointer finger. We found that this, there was sand uh, trapped underneath the victim's fingernail. There was also scratches on her, the, his skin, which were caused by him uh, mining on the, the ground. Looked like it was mainly on Thoris, but we didn't think much about that. From the earth, we he could, uh, confirmed that the victim wrote this name with his right hand. It's the cops! Mm, yes, perfectly logical conclusions. Now then, Mr. Wright, you may cross examine the witness. Thank you, Your Honor. Objection! Detective Gumshoe, take a look at this. This yellow glove. That's a glove, right? Could you tell the court what is special about this glove? What's a special? Uh, never really thought about it, but uh, it's really yellow, and that's about it. Yes, it's really yellow, but that is only one of its qualities. Huh? There's another reason why it's special. And what would that be? It's very simple. This glove is made for a left-handed person. Left-handed? Why, you're absolutely right! This glove is made to be worn on the right hand! And w that is why it had to be custom-made. I, I have never seen a bright yellow left-handed glove for sale, have you? Well, uh, no. So, Detective, which hand did the victim use to write the name with it again? That's easy. It's obviously from the picture. That was his... Wait a second. <laughs> Don't forget, the victim was left-handed. I need some coffee! This is, that is, I mean, I object! No, you don't! Overruled! In fact, I can. Uh, I'm going to press this button for, uh, to wrap your ankles with tentacles down. Hey. Ah, my, uh, something slimy is grabbing my, my ankles! Ah. Mr. Wright, I would like to know what is your line for of reasoning to prove? There's only one conclusion that can be done. A left-handed person could not have written a message with his right hand. Therefore, the person who wrote the name Maggie could not have been the victim. And not our defendant here. Order! Order! When you think about it, then yes. It is not possible that this name was written by the victim himself or the defendant. Then that means Maggie is... No! It's not possible! Mr. Payne, do I have to press the button again to raise the length of Tentacles' tentacles? 
yes, uh, no, no, no. And, uh, uh, and you ask me a question, another question, Your Honor. The evidence you, the prosecution uh, has presented has failed to prove the defendant's guilt. In fact, I believe you have proven her to be innocent. I feel like I can breathe again. It seems we have reached the conclusion that you did a fine job again, Mr. Hood. Miona? Oh, well, thank you, sir. See, you got a compliment by the judge. Again, you're really good. And that's why you can't give up being a lawyer, sir. You're joking, you're more than ready to retire. The ver I, I will round out some. The court finds you, Mr. No, no, yet! I don't want <laughs> You're gonna hate me with a title because of you right there. You're innocent now. I mean, you give me a few more on the image, Your Honor. <laughs> what is the meaning of this, Mr. Payne? I will, in fact, I will give you the full on tentacle tr uh, uh, treatment. The prosecutor's not ready yet. <laughs> We're not ready. What do you mean? We would like to call our next witness to the city. What? Really? I bet he's a good cause. What did you say? <laughs> did this witness witness? The moment he... The perfecter must push to his death. And what's more, he saw every, uh, the fa every face of the culprit. What the... Can we give him the medical treatment that you keep threatening him with? Order! Order the court! I believe the recess is in our hands. Well, afterward, we will hear the, from the next new witness. I have a feeling this was a bit too easy. My mm, Let me go down. Court is adjourned until then.